Our Sunday nights have gotten a lot more entertaining because Curb Your Enthusiasm is back on the air. Wow, after a six-year break, the socially challenged Larry David returned with his incredible cast, including the hilarious and a little hostile, <laughs> Susie Essman. So, yeah, this season we've seen Larry in awkward situations, like when his assistant called out of work constipated, oh, or when he refused to use tongs at the cookie buffet. And when he barraged into other people's bedrooms like this. You don't come upstairs in somebody's Ooh. house. Well, what? What's so special This about? is my boudoir. It's off limits. Would Mrs. Cleaver talk that way to Eddie Haskell if he came upstairs to our, to our oh. bedroom? Mrs. Cleaver hated Eddie Haskell because Eddie Haskell was a <laughs> obsequious little I think he had access to the house. But that's because the boys were upstairs. Okay, so all I'm asking for is Haskell access. I want the same, I, I, I want the same privileges as Eddie Haskell. Okay, is number that one. too much? <laughs> Haskell <laughs> access. Haskell access. That, you know what, that scene, it's interesting because that scene was completely improvised. We didn't, what? The, none of that was, none of the Eddie Haskell, <laughs> none of that was in the, you know, yeah. well, we don't have a script, but none yeah. of that was in the outline. That's just an example of how we just yeah. make stuff up. Isn't that incredible <laughs> that they say that nothing is in the script and yeah. then you just, like, have to make so, up everything? Yeah. So well, it'll say, like, for example, it'll be an outline, and it'll say in the outline, um, Larry comes into Susie's bedroom and Susie doesn't want him in there. That's all it'll say. The rest of that, we just Stop make all it. that up. Yeah. And are you, how come you're not cracking up or do you crack up throughout? No, Larry. Larry's the worst. He's the worst. He cracks up every time I yell at him. He cracks. He loves being yelled at. It's his favorite thing, which is good. Otherwise, at. I wouldn't have a job. But, um... Yeah, he, 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 like, every time I start to yell at him, he gets the giggles. Like, you, you're in third grade and the teacher's yelling at you. That's what he's like. How do you get that to get up to start yelling like that? Because yeah. you're well, known for that, well, right? Well, right? you know, I mean, there's always a trigger I could think of. There's like, plenty of triggers. Give us know, one. Give us uh, one. Um, I don't want to mention any names. He might be president. Um, or, uh, you know, like, like years ago, I had teenage kids that did things like have parties when we went away for the weekend. Yeah. Or, you oh know, whatever God. it is. I mean, there's, that always, rage. there's always Something and did I you do that to Rachel. your kids, like <laughs> act like that? You know, I think on each one of them, I've gone Susie Green on them at least once, which is not bad. No, that's not what bad. What do they think? Do your kids see the show? Yeah, of course. They're so, adults now. Yeah, but what do know. they think when they watch you, watch you go on one of your crazy rants? Do they uh, think it's funny? Or? I think they think it's funny. Yeah. I don't know. They never told me. <laughs> You know, you know how it is, kids. You, you're nothing to them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, you just have a little baby. Yeah. Wait and see. Yeah, Wait, right. Like, like, <laughs> that's right. My son said to me last time I was here, he goes, Mom, somebody told me you were good on Good Morning America. Yeah. I go, I don't work for Good Morning America. <laughs> as the parent you're yeah. just there to serve them yeah you know they don't care that you're on tv or they 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 actually like literally don't like it i think you know i think oh. they would just prefer you to just be Somebody june else. cleaver yeah you know <laughs> did you access maria's uh son is leaving she'll be empty nesting soon yeah did you have like angst and and stuff when that happened with you? Yes, and then after a while, it felt like every day was vacation. <laughs> it was That's good, what it right? felt like. Really? Yeah, yeah, I liked it. Not lonely. And, and, but the thing that, that kills lonely? me... Uh, no, I'm not a lonely person. No? Uh, no, I have too many voices in my head. <laughs> yeah, me but... too. <laughs> I never thought of them as good company, though. Yeah, they're good company. <laughs> but um, what I, the thing that kills me is that... Now, they're all adults. They, they make a living and they yeah. live on their own. But when they come home, suddenly I still have to be the, the meal person. Yeah. What are we doing for lunch? What are we doing for dinner? Why am I the meal provider? <laughs> yeah. Get mad. Get mad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, you can catch Curb Your Enthusiasm Sundays on HBO. We love you, Susie. That's it. So That's great. It. it was four minutes. It was oh, awesome. Gee. Okay. Do we want to no. get okay. more? Yeah, we just keep watching you. <laughs> keep watching. You can see, uh, scream and see her will scream as much as you want. Exactly. Right? Okay. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.